I'm going to get a little background on the two of you. Who used to be friends? Who's that? My witness. We'll see. There came a time when you had a car that was for sale. Correct. What kind of a car? It's a 2007 Honda Fit. When had you purchased it? I had purchased it December 2018 from a friend. How much did you pay for it? Around $3,000. Around? Yes. Yes, around. No. Uh, $3,000. Who has the title to the car? Frederick does. That would be you. I do not have the title. The title was in the car when it was impounded. Oh, that's so interesting. In what month and year did you sell him the car for $2,500? May uh, of 2021. That would be June of 2021, actually. Don't interfere. I don't have, don't I, interfere. OK, everything is good. Everything is fine. Everything is happy. You like the way the car was running. Mr. DeAngelis says to you, on May 18th, all sounds good. Let's get the title handled as soon as you can. That was on May 18th. I don't think it was. I don't give a rat's behind what you think. <laughs> That's when it was. On May 15th, I was just calling to say the car ran great. I get my car tips from the last two nights. What does that mean? I don't ever remember sending those messages. Oh, well, then maybe you should go to a neurologist. What does he mean by that, sir? Do you know? Um, it was some sort of employment that he had. Something, he was just trying to make a false promise to pay me. Hey, I was paid. This is on May 18th. I'm just waiting for the money to come through on PayPal. It says pending, but I'll have a few hundred for you and then a couple more next week. I'd like to try to give you two a week so I'll be more like six a month. Correct. And you say to him, all good, dude, let's get the title handled as soon as you can. What happened to Target? What happened to what? Target! What happened at Target? Yeah, what happened to Target? Think, before you answer me, think, what happened at Target? How does that pertain to the case? What happened at Target? I got in a fight. I love it when a game plan comes together. You got in a fight with whom? I had somebody try and jump me. Close your mouth. <laughs> Was there a warrant for your arrest from the incident to Target? No. What were you worried about evading the police for? I, I don't know at all what you're talking about. Well, how did you think I knew about Target? Evading the police? How do you think that I knew about Target? Do you think that I'm a soothsayer that I have behind here a crystal ball? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. It's because you're not as smart as you think you are. I was not worried about evading the police, <laughs> ever. Well, that's what you said. You said, I just wanted something more secure. I'd like not to have to worry about evading the police oh. every night and no, okay. and no money worries. I was working at an underground bar. So I'd like not to have to worry about evading the police. Yeah, I okay. thought you meant in interest to Target. Uh, OK. The problem that you had with the job at Milk was passing the background check because of the incident to Target. Absolutely. Absolutely. Does, does that refresh your recollection about these things, that you don't have any recollection about writing? Didn't he? Oh, my. Oh, and I thought that this was going to be an in and out. <laughs> A one and done. Didn't he say he didn't have any idea what I was referring to? He didn't. See, I Something about, like I don't know what you're referring to. I never wrote that. It wasn't until, looks like June 9th, that you sent him $400 from Wells Fargo. That was after you landed in Miami. You did go to Miami, right? I did, for two days. You did. And where do you live regularly? Los Angeles. And how did you get to Miami? Work. What do you mean, work? Work paid for it. What kind of work? An acting job. Oh. You're an actor. Is that what you do? Is that what you? It's not what pays the bills. No, 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 no. no. I went out of town mm -hmm. from the twenty. Let me see. You July were in twenty-first to August twelfth. Where did you go? First, I went to Hawaii, and then I went to Spain, and then I went to Chicago. How'd you get all to those places? I had money saved up. I hope this isn't an audition because you're not a very good actor. Why didn't 
you transfer the title to your name. Because I couldn't transfer the title to my name because you can't transfer the title in the state of California when there's tickets on the car already. Incorrect, Your Show, Honor. just a second. Show me that you made an attempt to go to the Department of Motor Vehicles to transfer the title to your name. It was declined because there were... Show me I an email. Show me I don't have an that. email. Show me a text where it says, I tried to register and the car. I'm have... speaking. Don't speak when I speak. So between the 18th and the 9th, you clearly didn't try to register the car because you wouldn't have made a payment of $400 if you tried to register the car, right? That's either a yes or a no. Witness, how much were the tickets? 623 for parking tickets and 490 for running a red light. And how much were your tickets that you Don't, accumulated? Just a second, don't speak to him. Did you pay the tickets? No, Your Honor. Why not? I didn't pay the tickets because I hadn't received anything from him. Yeah, I know he owes you $2,100 for the car. And uh, for the red light ticket as well. No, you didn't pay it. I didn't pay it because they told me if I paid it, it would be a strike on my record. So I signed a non-liability affidavit on the reverse side of that uh, red light ticket and sent it off in his name. They said they couldn't process it because I didn't have his license number. Take out your wallet. He is going to read to you his license number and Kevin is going to verify it. Why isn't you? Yes. So you dispute that one, got it? Okay, um, and regarding the parking tickets. I'm not dealing with the parking tickets, sir. They weren't paid. $2,100 is what he owes you for the balance of the car. We're done here, thank you very much. Bye. Bye. I'd stay with a full-time job, sir.